Yankees, one and two. Let's get the cameras on. Maybe we can get double duty here. Numbering the I beam. Get your chart, which is binary. Welcome to Inside Southern California. I'm Lynn Harper. You're going to meet the man responsible for the excitement you just saw, but he's never seen it himself. So get ready to meet the great Wayne Foster when we get back. How do I look? Great, I hope, since I'm coming to you on a brand new HD TV set. Trouble is, I don't look any different than I do on a normal TV set because one of these is no better than one of these without HD service. For one low rate, Adelphia gives you access to exclusive channels in lifelike HD. Try getting that out of a dish. Advantage Cable. Call and order today. 1-866-9-HD-TV now. Exercise your emotions. Attend a live orchestra concert. Go to findaconcert.com. Welcome back. Before I introduce you to Wayne Foster live and in person, I want to show you a news clip that Adelphia Headline News did featuring Wayne Foster Entertainment and everything that is Wayne Foster. So take a look at this, and when we get back, we'll meet Wayne Foster live. I tell everybody around here that I'm in charge of lights costumes and I drive the band bus but um, it's a, a major pain in the butt blind since birth Wayne Foster hasn't let that stand in his way Wayne Foster is now an entity that does music and entertainment for prominent events corporate private philanthropic and we have an extended family of performers and technicians and support people the Carlsbad-based company has seven branch offices, a fleet of trucks, and a workforce of over 500. The key to Wayne Foster is that every single event is customized. And whatever you can imagine, we can create musically. And for the Foster group, the devil is in the details. Those details, those are secrets of Wayne Foster music and entertainment, and that's what has given us our reputation of making events perfect. Foster and his wife started the business, which now includes three of their four daughters, more than 50 years ago. It started with Marin and myself, and Marin played, the, we were 16 and 17. Marin played the drums and the bass, and I played the keyboards. From duos to 80-piece musical extravaganzas, and Wayne Foster hasn't seen any of it. And uh, we deal with it, and what don't kill you makes you strong. And looking at that news clip, you have a pretty good idea of who Wayne Foster and Wayne Foster Entertainment is. Now it's time to meet the man himself, and we'll find out exactly how he got to be who he is today. Wayne Foster, welcome to Inside Southern California. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's a very flattering news clip. Well, uh, let's put it this way. The news just shines the light. You're the one that did it. Thank but you. Thank Wayne, you. we got an idea of who you are and who the family is and what you do. But I want to know personally, and if I want to know, a lot of people do, how in the world did a young man, in essence, blind since birth, be the head of a multi-million dollar organization with fans all around the world? Um, of course, when it started, it was, uh, I was a, what is it called, a depression baby, 1934. 
I was probably not so welcome. Maybe I was even a mistake. I'm not sure. And of course, on top of it, of course, I was blind. And uh, so probably I didn't arrive the greatest deal of popularity. But I had an incredibly supportive family and environment. And uh, mom took a great interest in music, and she was very musical. I had very nurturing siblings. I had two older brothers and an older sister. And uh, they didn't exactly spoil me, but a little bit maybe. Certainly had my way. And music was always very significant. Always, always music. I, someone bought me a violin, and then someone bought me the drums, mm -hmm. and then s they got out the piano. And uh, it evolved to be uh, a very significant and important part of my life. Well, you know, we have a picture that one of your daughters <laughs> gave me, and I want to share it with everybody. It's of you and your mom, Anna. Yeah. So I want to show everybody a picture of a young man and his mom, because I know she had a lot of influence in your life. She so. did. That's so really true. Here's Anna and your mom. Wayne, I wish you could see this. Uh, because you're standing there in a suit, and your mom is uh, holding onto your arm, and she's looking so proud. She was a bright, roly-poly, full of life lady. But isn't she the one, really, that uh, is that got she, you started? She did really well. She drove from New York to Philadelphia to enroll me in the one of the amateur hours for a person at that time was Paul Whiteman. Only only vintage people will remember that name, and so I was really lucky again, and I won, 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 and I took the money, and I bought some band jackets and I started a band and I got arrangements written and I came back to the Paul Whiteman thing with my band and we won again. You know, just one good fortune luck after the other. I heard from one of your daughters that you met your life partner, your love, Marin, when you guys were just teenagers. What I want to know is how did that work out? Here's a blind young man and the pictures that we're going to be looking later on at Marin, a gorgeous young lady, also in show business. Tell me how that came we about. We tease each other a lot and I tell Marin that I had a lot of girlfriends. And uh, of course we, we're joking and teasing. But it actually came about because I was performing with this high school group that I had won so many contests, contests with at a uh, charity. And uh, Marin and her friend were attendees at this dance, and they decided they were going to come up and meet the band. And so she did, and one of the band members uh, introduced me to this sweet little girl, and I shook her hand, and, and it was magic. We decided that perhaps we'd go out and get some pizza, and mm -hmm. it was pizza. Uh, even then it was pizza. And the rest is history. That was a lot of years ago. That was four daughters, four daughters ago, and seven grandchildren ago. Lots of wonderful memories, some ups, some downs. Life's never a smooth path. We made our way from the East Coast to the West Coast several years ago, started up again, and very happy that we did, and we landed in this wonderful city. I landed at the same time that it was declared as America's finest city. Ah, yes. And I hope we're on our way back <laughs> to becoming America's finest city. Well, as they say, from your mouth to God's yeah, ears, Wayne. Yeah. That's what we need. Well, we want to take a short break right now, and that's because I'd like to invite your youngest daughter, who is also the executive director of Wayne Foster Entertainment, Bonnie Foster, to join us. And if you wouldn't mind, I'm going to say sit right there, because when we get back, Ms. Foster will be joining her dad on this couch. So stay with us.
already know Adelphia as your cable provider. But did you also know that Adelphia's products are a great value? We pride ourselves on giving you more for your hard-earned money. No hidden fees, free service calls and support, and state-of-the-art products that make sense for your busy life. It all stems from our commitment to provide our customers with no-nonsense, hassle-free service. Quite frankly, we think you deserve the very best. Adelphia. Honest value, friendly service. Go safe or go home. I live to go big. Taking steep hills and sweeping curves at 60 miles an hour is my kind of day at the office. Although I must say sharp turns can be dangerous, but that's what a helmet and good pads are for. On the internet, dangers exist around every curve. Learn how to play it safe and protect yourself. So remember, when you're cruising the net, check out isafe.org before you take your next downhill run. Welcome back. You're watching Inside Southern California, and I'm Lynn Harper. And if you want to see some behind-the-scenes pictures or learn more about this particular show, go to AdelphiaChannel.com or my website, LynnHarper.com, and click on Inside Southern California, and it's all going to be there for you. But I did promise you the next generation of fosters, and thanks to the modern technology, sitting next to her dad, we have Bonnie Foster. Hey, Bonnie. Hi, Lynn. Hi. <laughs> Bonnie. When we went out to our last break, we saw a clip of Foster Entertainment. There was Irish step dancing, bebop, jazz. I've never seen such versatility. Latin. Is there anything you guys don't do? There's nothing we don't do. Everything from funk to Motown to big band, swing, Latin, country, because everyone has diverse musical tastes and we cater to everyone. Well, you guys are so huge. We did that news piece on you and 500 plus employees seven branch whatever and this is from a young blind man who is a teenager meets a beautiful young lady they fall in love you brought us some pictures this <laughs> loads of pictures you know courtesy of Bonnie Foster why don't we show these pictures and Bonnie you can say what we're looking at and bring us up from when Wayne and Marin met you know when Eddie meets Sally or whatever like that is right and four girls later so let's take a look at the pictures oh look at oh, that this is Wayne and Marin and their little band Wayne Foster music uh, this is in the 60s at the Nixon inauguration. There they are back in the back waiting oh, on their break. Look. This is Wayne and Marin on the front of their album. We did a, an album, a vinyl record, and that's the back of the album in the 70s. And that's, those are my three older sisters, and I'm the blonde one right there with <laughs> Wayne and Marin. That was in Puerto Rico. This is in the 70s. Now we're in California. Wayne and Marin singing Wayne at his white baby grand piano. This is a pretty current picture of the four daughters, Wayne and Marin, and the six, seven grandchildren on Show Dance, which is Wayne and Marin's boat. This is when I was co-hosting with Ed McMahon at a private function in Montana, Missoula, Montana. There's oh, Wayne and myself Quincy with Quincy Jones, uh, also in Montana. Oh, after, we after Wayne and Marin produced a fabulous hey, it's 40s. Oprah. There's oh. Oprah with Wayne and Marin. Oh, that was right. a wonderful event as well. There is Harrison Ford with the family, Wayne Marin, my sister Susan and Marin, oh, uh, and, and Harrison Ford, right? And then that's a picture of some of our trucks and our staff that run the Carlsbad office right here in Southern California. So imagine that. In about a minute and a half or two minutes, what do we do? <laughs> we see the whole foster thing bringing us up to today. Yes. But three other daughters. And um, Wayne, if you don't mind, I'm going to ask Bonnie her take on what it's like to have been born into a family like this and what the other girls do. So okay. I'm just going to throw it to you and say, okay, Bonnie, I mean, what's it like to be the baby in the foster organization? It's so wonderful. I get to learn from all of their mistakes. So when they were growing <laughs> up and they did little things that little girls do, I got to see what works and what doesn't work and the reaction of my, fam my parents. So I watched out for that. But I feel very fortunate to be in that fourth position. All the girls are involved in the business, and we all had to provide a very important role for Wayne and Marin, our parents. And by the way, we always called them Wayne and Marin when we were on stage. We could never say mom and dad because that would not be professional. But of course, at home, they were mom and dad. Um, there was always music in the house, which was fabulous. I'd wake up in the morning to a live baby grand piano being played by my dad. And that is, just was so peaceful. 
And then, of course, now when we get together, it's very hard to get together without music. Whether we have a piano or not, we all will, will sing and just create music together. Music is a very important part of all of our lives, as you can understand. And Wayne and Marin have always taught us that you can't be crying and singing at the same time. I mean, you can't be sad if you're singing and happy and, and dancing. So music really helped create the right energy in the house. Well, a couple of years ago, I was invited to a Wayne Foster Entertainment do. And I saw this gorgeous, dark-haired star of this giant extravaganza. Thinking back, that turned out that it was your sister, Jackie. Can you tell me how Jackie fits into this organization Absolutely. along with all the other entertainers? Because you've got 500-plus entertainers. Right. Jacqueline produces our fabulous musical extravaganzas. She creates the shows that we put on usually after the dinner segment of an e event that is like a Broadway musical type vignette. And she's very, very creative and has created a lot of those fabulous uh, programs. She also runs our Carlsbad office. She runs our sales team. She's incredibly talented. And what about your sister Sue, Susan? What does she do for Susan the Susan is the one who produces, along with Wayne and Marin, produces the shows that Jacqueline and I sell. So she handles a lot of the talent, booking the talent, producing the talent, handling the timelines, special music that each client would want the evening of. So she's very detail-oriented with her production team. She heads the production team. And that leaves the one sister that's really not exactly in the organization, and that would be Nancy. How's it, uh, how, how does that work for Nancy? There's the three girls in the organization with Wayne and Marin. I'm going to ask Wayne the same thing in a moment. Uh, tell me how, um, how Nancy feels about, you know, kind of being parallel but not right in there. Well, Nancy contributes in a very unique way, and that is she comes to the large events, usually with 500-plus guests, and she will sign, using sign language, she will sign three or four of our songs. The orchestra's playing, for instance, Wonderful World, beautiful orchestration with 25 people on stage making music, and Nancy will do the sign language so that people who are hearing impaired in the audience can also appreciate the music. So really, you do have the whole family. Because, Wayne, I want to ask you something. When you and Marin met and then the girls started coming, at what point did you, what was the tipping point from, it was Wayne Foster and Marin on stage to this gigantic juggernaut of an organization with all of these trucks and these these branches. I mean, there's very few people like you in this world. When did you realize that you were a huge success? We uh, wanted it to be stable, and we wanted to have a stable life, and uh, I resigned myself lots of years ago, Lynn, that probably I had to be blind, but I didn't have to be poor. Oh. And uh, when the opportunity presented itself to create the happiness and the music, and we were called on uh, the, the actually expansion took place by the phenomenon of being called for two appointments, two engagements on one evening. And so we branched out to some of my then associates, and then it became four, and then it became six, and then it became several. And then we emulated ourselves and our approach. Things like continuous music, um, we do uh, we have a, a, an acronym called VIF, Variety, Excitement, Elegance, and Fun. Uh -huh. We capture them, we develop them, and we hopefully transform and ensure the energy of an event. People are spending a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of themselves into these very important occasions. And we maximize those moments and that little short period of time that people have to really rejoice. Good times build fond memories. Well, I want to say that we were looking at the extravaganzas, all of the, uh, the, the tapes that we've been looking at, but you also um, are in people's lives in a really big way because the word wedding comes to mind. And I was looking at some of the weddings that the Wayne Foster organization was uh, responsible for, mm -hmm. from the small wedding with a little trio, up and to extravaganzas beyond belief. So what I did was I've got a, a kind of a montage of the Wayne Foster organization because when you get married, whether you divorce later, I don't know, but 
the person that when we play they stay oh. <laughs> <laughs> one can only hope you, yeah. you're in their lives you've, you've really done something more than just give them a happy night of entertainment but you're there for the duration especially when there are wedding videos and CDs so I would like to show everybody just a taste of the weddings that Wayne Foster has put that very special stamp on so we're gonna take a look at that the Wayne Foster wedding there, there, there. You know, I tell you what, that reminded me of Princess Di. That was humongous. I'm not going to ask you what the budget was. <laughs> don't ask. <laughs> I don't even want to know. Right. But it was a royal wedding. And, and that is absolutely amazing. So I'm going to take a quick break now because I need to take my breath after something that huge. And when we get back, uh, Wayne, I know you don't mind, but I really do want to get into what it's like to be you and not be able to see any of this stuff. That would drive me crazy. So we're gonna take a quick break. When we get back, back with Bonnie Foster and Wayne Foster, so stay with us. Wanna block out annoying pop-up ads <coughs> and protect your computer from viruses? When you upgrade to Adelphia High Speed Internet, you'll get all the speed you want and all the protection you need at no additional charge, including a firewall feature to protect your computer from the hackers of the world. Order Adelphia High Speed Internet for $24.95 a month for the first three months. Come on, boy. Come on. What do you got there, Yogi? Huh? What do you found? What do you got, little fella? Drop it. Looks like someone's butt. Man, they probably lost it playing with their kids. Hey, leave it. Come on. Come on. Welcome back. This is Inside Southern California, and I'm Lynn Harper, here with Wayne Foster and his beautiful daughter, Bonnie. Thank you so much for being here also. Thank you. Um, I noticed that with the Wayne Foster organization, maybe it's because Wayne and Marin and the four daughters, it's a family thing, but you, get, you guys are so discriminating when it comes to perfection. What's, uh, what's the credo there? We are constantly recruiting new talent, but it's not easy to find the best talent. So, in other words, they could be a great musician, great guitarist, great vocalist, but what they really need to have to work for Wayne Foster Entertainment is the right attitude, a winning attitude. Being raised by a blind man who never knew anything about no, everything was possible and anything was possible, but we had to have the right attitude to make that happen. We only bring into the fold people with the right positive ha attitude, and along with the great talent. You got that from your dad, we obviously. Did. And Wayne, you told me the funniest story about one of your daughters. You have to share it because it's worth sharing. Well, the story, but the song tells the story before I tell the story about Jackie. The song says, once I wanted toothpaste, but I grabbed the Vaseline. Once I put cake flour instead of soap in the washing machine. Once I wanted right guard, but I grabbed the bug spray. But hell, what don't kill you makes you tough, and I'm still here today. <laughs> so I sang the song to the, my one of the daughters, I guess it was Jacqueline, and she sat on my lap and said, and in her four-year-old way, if you had your wish, would you rather be deaf or blind? And I said, blind. And she said, great, you got your wish. <laughs> so. And of course, it goes into the act. Right, I got a question for you, Wayne, because you are so straight on and you are so up. Let me ask you, if I had a magic wand yes. and I could wave it now, and Wayne, if you could have your sight back, but the Wayne Foster organization would be no more, what would you choose? No way. No, no, no. Not no. The Wayne Foster organization brings a lot of happiness and fulfillment and gratification, Lynn, and, and it has really, really been a, a, an absolutely incredible experience. It's a little hard to put into words without pontificating, 
but we have the opportunity to impact on people's lives in the most wonderful way at the moment of celebration. The highlight is the high point of life, and the, the rest of the vicissitudes of life take care of themselves. We all go through them, but we are blessed and privileged and gifted to be able to be there when people are ready to celebrate the, the make the most of the moment. So and what you would do would be to say, no, I don't, I would rather keep the Wayne Foster organization, not my site. Bonnie, let me ask you a question. Yes. If, if your dad could have his site back, but the Foster organization would go away, what would you say? Never. Wow. Because, well, of course, I would, whatever he would want, I would want for him. But yeah. it has brought so much to our lives as children. We are, we've learned that anything can happen that we want to happen as long as we put our attention on it and we work hard and we do good. But also, it, it's given us a sense of purpose. Really, we're, we were needed as children because someone needed to drive Wayne around when Marin was running one of the offices and being at one of the events. So we all got a sense of purpose, which gave us a lot of confidence. And if you can have confidence in your, li in your life, really, you can do it. And anything. nothing is by accident. If mm -hmm. I could see me, I'd, maybe I'd be lazy. Oh, <laughs> and you know, if you could have seen, yes. and you, we, we wouldn't be here today. Who knows? I have a feeling. Isn't that amazing? I how still drive my. The I still drive my boat, even though, and I just get get scared. I like to scare the guests. Get behind the helm and say, "Now you just tell me when I'm going to smash into a next boat. You know, just let me know." Well, so on <laughs> that note, I think we need to take a break. <laughs> so what we will do is take a short break, and when we come back, we will say goodbye to Wayne Foster and Bonnie, and we will go from there. So stay with us. Tell me of some art. <laughs> Tell me I'm really great at math. Tell me it's okay to be wrong, to say what I think, to question things. Tell me I will do great things someday. And we're back just in time to say goodbye, so thank you so much, Bonnie Foster and Wayne Foster. Any final words of advice for anybody out there who really needs them? I have an acronym, SWAG, Strength, Wisdom, worthy, that's Strength, Worthiness, uh, Awareness, and Gratitude. And that would be the acronym that you live by and that you would suggest other people do. Huh? I got another luck. Love, understanding, caring, and kindness. All right. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks for having us. For that. I thank appreciate you. it. Thank you for having and us. And thank you all for watching. So be with us next time. This is Inside Southern California. I'm Lynn Harper. Bye-bye. Thank you.